Okay, today Suzanne is having a really nice day over a simple plane with a grass textures, right? Actually, wrong. This grass texture is completely different of everything you've ever seen on Blender. So let me show how to create that. <laughs> Okay, so this grass field is based on a technique that I, I found on YouTube here in this channel. This channel is from a Brazilian YouTuber and in, in 2016 he posted a video about how to use this technique on SketchUp in using V-Ray 2.0 but I realized that today we can use the same technique to create this grass field using Eevee. So, how to create this infinite, infinite grass field on Blender? Okay, let's find out. I will delete everything on my scene and I will go to the shading panel, okay? So, here on the shading workspace, I will add a plane. So, Shift A, plane. I will focus on this plane here. And to do that, I will use a specific texture, okay? This texture here, let me find... Okay, to, to this technique, I will use this texture here. This is a high quality texture, it's about 20 megabytes and it has a pretty good resolution actually, as you can see. The concept of this texture is really simple and the, studio, the case of use for this texture is when you need to put a grass field on your scene and you, want, you don't want to mess up with textures and with repetition so you can see you will see let me show you now i will create a new plane a new plane i will create a new material sorry my english is bad i know <laughs> i will take this texture here where is this texture where is the texture i will take this texture and here on blender I will put the texture here as, as usual, okay? So, as you can see, the texture is applied on, my, on our plane, nothing fancy, but I will change the principal shader for a diffuse shader. And as always, everyone knows that you need to have the Node Wrangler add-on active to do some of the stuff I'm doing here, okay? So, Shift S to change your texture, and I will change the principal shader for a the fuse shader okay so we won't have any reflections or anything like that so let's continue now i will click the grass texture i will press ctrl t t for texture and as you can see nothing things at all so the magic occurs here you can take the texture coordinates and change the the coordinate from uv to reflection and as you can see now we have something like a sphere projecting this texture on our plane okay but we need to rotate this actually we need to rotate this uh, 90 degrees on the x-axis so i can come here to oh, rotation and rotation by 90 degrees as you can see now we are seeing something interesting but it's not that great right now okay so what what we need to do now now we need to take this texture and rise it up so we can come here to the location and we can move on the y-axis so actually if we move it in the positive as a positive number it's it will go down for some reason but if we move it up for a negative value as you can see we start to see how it looks so the value that i find that's good for this texture is minus 50 centimeters as you can see if you take a look at the horizon line we can see the trees of the textures so as you can see if you we change the position in the y-axis we can see the trees and everything else but if we put it in 50 centimeters everything looks fine one more time sorry about my english i'm just learning okay so as you can see 
looks fine but now we need to adjust the the size so the texture can be more flexible we can use the texture for something closer of our, of our eyes and as as we as you may notice now we can use the scale to change that so the scale that i found is that looks fine is 0.6 on all axes so if you change the scale to 0.6 the texture will look like this and if you scale the texture as you can see it's look fine so there is some problems in some directions okay so for some parts you we you will need to rotate the texture but for basically everything looks looks really okay but uh, let me show something for you the texture won't work in orthographic view okay it it won't works in the perspective and if we reduce it to 0.51 and look up you will see what is the problem as you can see we have a white dot in the center of our image and as a, we are using a reflection projection this dot is fixed so to not to hide this dot we need to reduce the scale okay the last thing I, i'd like to do to make this texture even better is let me let me change the size of this plane i will scale by 100 so you can see how interesting this effect is and this scale on the x axis i will change it to 3 so we have a repetition of the texture and we can use more of the resolution of the texture in this way and as you can see if we add a cube né? let me add a cube on this scene and I rise up by one meter and as you can see looks really good for a, a a fixed shot so if you are if you work with architecture visualization as i work with to create a grass field outside of windows or something like that this technique is very very good Print, uh, in fact it works better for for is, is fixed shots sorry about my english you can use for whatever you want as you can see is flexible is easy to do the node setup is this node setup here and you can use it for whatever you want okay anyway if you like this video you know subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so every time i post a new video on this channel you will be notified okay all the best and i see you in the next video bye bye